Hey everybody, James again with TFB TV, and as you can see, I'm here in the lovely mountains of Washington because I'm up here for TriggerCon. This is the first time I've been to TriggerCon, and just briefly, I'm gonna do another like a hype video for TriggerCon, but this is essentially a small show for mostly premium manufacturers. That's in Bellevue, Washington, which is just outside of Seattle. I've had a fantastic weekend here, hanging out, drinking beer, checking out guns, the huge, getting to hang out with some fans, met up with some people, you guys out there, if you're watching, guys that I met at TriggerCon, it was awesome meeting you. Leave a comment, say, hey, maybe I'll, I'll pin one of those comments up top. Uh, but it, it was awesome, and there were some awesome guns. In fact, I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to do a top five guns of TriggerCon. And I gotta give you guys a little trigger warning, no pun, about number one, the number one pick, how the number one pick was decided is they have at TriggerCon the Golden Trigger Awards. There'll be three categories, firearms, accessories, and optics. And at the end of the presentation tonight, we'll have a short break in between. We'll do about 28 presentations, 10, 10, and then eight. And we'll have a short break and then we'll tally up the votes and announce the winner. And what I said, I'm gonna do this top five, but whoever wins number one at the show is going to be the number one for the TFB TV top five guns of TriggerCon. So you guys are gonna see a gun at top that has won a TFB TV top five before, but just to let you know, it was picked by a panel of judges for the Golden Trigger Award. So in any event, let's swing right into number five. My fifth favorite gun was the STI Omni. I never thought that I would say that I loved a 1911 and to be fair they corrected me when they said look this isn't a 1911 this is a 2011 and STI has kind of a cool thing that they do it's like a two-piece like the grip meets the slide and it's not really a true 1911 it's a bit of a different animal all right guys this is Alex at STI International here at TriggerCon 2018 and wanted to take a minute to talk through the line STI has been around for about 25 years now we came into market really from competition. Uh, we developed the 2011 platform, which is this pistol here, taking you know, the, the well-known uh, platform by competition shooters and it, developing a modular system with a polymer grip bolted to a steel frame, allowing for enhanced capacity, reduced recoil, uh, and took off with the competition scene. Uh, from that point on, we've taken all that technology, uh, all of that experience from being a dominant uh, player in competition pistol shooting, and have started to boil it down into a variety of applications. And really kind of the pinnacle here is the DVC Omni. Uh, this is a defensive gun, but it can be used in a variety of uh, disciplines. What you have here is you have our uh, proprietary uh, one-piece design for a compensator, island front sight, and barrel, all machined out of a single piece of steel. Uh, so there's no issues of timing or this compensator ever backing off. Uh, these pistols are 100% hand fit. Uh, so you get a nice flush trim profile paired up with a uh, pre-milled uh, slide to do a variety of red dot optics. Also tritium night sights, same high capacity textured grips and trim magwell. Basically all of the offerings that we do and have learned over our years of experience boiled down into a great package for a variety of applications available from STI new this year. The DVC Omni here is the top of line gun available for $39.99. Again, never did I think that I was gonna put a 1911 on a TFB TV top five video, but there you have it. So moving on to my number four pick for the top five guns of TriggerCon, that's gonna be the Falcor Defense Macho Man AR-10. Ooh yeah, brother. Now I kind of say that tongue in cheek, but guys, I kept going back, taking pictures of the Macho Man AR-10. That pattern is wild. The concept was ingenious. I'm sorry, I know I always save number four for my controversial pick. You guys know that. I know you guys aren't gonna be really satisfied that I picked a gun just because I think it looks cool. But I gotta tell you, there actually were a bunch of really neat, I guess, Cerakote jobs, Duracote jobs at TriggerCon this year. And the Macho Man one really stood out. I mean, guys, I can't help it. I was a child of the WWF, I guess WWE now, whatever. But Hulk Hogan was like one of my idols growing up. And I know it's the same for a lot of you. So I hope you guys all appreciated the Randy Savage AR-10. Uh, but there were a bunch of really cool Duracote, Cerakote jobs there. There were some awesome Star Wars AR-15s. There were some really neat, there were even like sports themed ARs. So that was kind of cool. Kind of a lame pick, I know, but you guys know my number four is always kind of controversial. So that was it. Now moving on to my number three most favorite gun of TriggerCon. That was the Master of Arms Ultralight AR-15. And the name escapes me right now, but you guys will see it in a second when I let the Master of Arms guys take over. But I thought this was such a neat design that 
I'm gonna do a standalone video on it. But with this gun, they are talking about like carbon fiber and like adamantium and mithril and like a bunch of cool stuff it was made out of. It's like these guys, super sciencey guys from California making a fully functional AR-15 that weighs like three pounds, which I think makes it the lightest AR-15 ever made. Everything engineered to be as lightweight as possible. Check it out. We call it, it's a 3.65 pound rifle with optics ready to go. I promise it's all here. Uh, there's basically no mil spec parts on here anymore. We machined the receiver set out of Tenelum 7095. That allowed us to go even thinner than you could get with 7075 or 6061 while still maintaining the strength. Uh, we've got a half inch barrel in here, so to make sure that that stays accurate, we tensioned it inside of our carbon fiber forend, which we also make. We've got our titanium bolt carrier group. We call it the Nix. It's about half the weight of a mil spec carrier, um, but it's made out of solution treated in aged titanium. So it's not gonna have the longevity issues that you will have with a uh, aluminum carrier. Um, everything that wears is nickel boron coated and um, yeah, that's about it. Pretty rad, right? But you guys are gonna see a more in-depth explanation in the standalone video. And I'll try to remember to drop a card in here so you can just go straight to it. Now, moving on to my number two. Guys, I'm hoping that I'm just not wound up by the hype, but I am really excited for the Soul Invictus AA-12. And I thought that was one of the coolest guns at the show. I really haven't had a chance to handle one. And unfortunately, I didn't make it to range day or get a chance to fire it, but they're only making 2,000 of these guns, and it is the AA-12, and it appears to be very well executed. The guys let me take a look at the guts, they let me handle it, take it apart, manipulate it, and it seems really well made. Hello everybody, my name is Michael, I'm here with Sol Invictus Arms, and we're here at Trijicon this week showing off the AA-12. This is the AA-12 in the semi-auto configuration. Uh, it fires from a closed bolt as opposed to the model that everybody's familiar with. It fires from an open bolt. We want to bring this product to market uh, sometime this year, probably towards the end of the year. We have it configured here with the eight round box magazine, but obviously we also have the 20 round drum. And we have that model in the states that are illegal to have the, you know, the 20 round drum, we'll do the, the, the stick mags for it. So the limited edition Boyer Corneals models that we have available currently on arms list and gunbroker.com, we have the A-frame sight model, so that has sort of the classic AA-12 silhouette that everybody's used to and that you know is made famous in all the video games and the movies. That model is going for three thousand dollars, and then a lot of people were asking for you know an option to mount an optic, uh, you know, for this 12 gauge shotgun. So we offer this model as well through those pre-orders for thirty-two fifty. Pretty rad, right? I know my Call of Duty fans, my Predator. Not Predator, but Predators, you know, Adrian Brody. I know you guys are going to like that too. So, Soul Invictus, do not let me down. Now, moving on to the number one. Guys, remember, this is the one that won the Golden Trigger Award. I didn't pick it, even though I have picked it as a number one for TFB TV in the past. So, I think it's a very well deserving candidate for the Golden Trigger Award. So, without further ado, the number one pick is... You guys remember back in January, I did the top five guns of SHOT Show. I selected that list. It was the five best guns of SHOT Show, and the number one gun, in my opinion, you guys know I'm a concealed carry junkie, was the SIG P365. They stuffed 10 rounds plus one into a single stack size gun, about the same size as most single stack guns on the market. I thought it was innovative enough to call it the best gun at SHOT Show 2018. So now we're at TriggerCon, and you guys have seen the coverage from TriggerCon so far. Now TriggerCon, they do something called the Golden Trigger, and the Golden Trigger Award goes to the most innovative gun in the past year. Well, lo and behold, who wins it but the SIG P365? So I said to myself, before I knew who won, Whoever wins the Golden Trigger for gun, the gun category is going to be the best gun of TriggerCon for TFB TV. So I'm sorry, but here we are again, yet again, within six months. Six months ago, SIG was the number one gun at shot, and now it's the number one gun at TriggerCon. I'm gonna let my buddy Rich Morovitz gloat a little bit. The 365 has been out for like six months now, so obviously you guys are gonna, SIG being SIG, you're gonna make some evolutions or, or change the line. Uh, what, what's coming for 
the 365. I'll tell you, right now, the biggest thing that Sig Sauer is focused on with the P365 is cutting through our backlog. Bottom line, you know, our tagline is, you know, bring more every day. You know, we want you to carry more, have more capacity. Well, we're upping our capacity physically within our, within our own uh, spectrum, within our engineering manufacturing. Uh, we've invested a uh, significant amount, significant amount of CapEx. Oh, I did it. Significant amount of CapEx in new machines to get the slide, get the times down so we can get more out, keep the quality high, but also get more guns out there. Because I'll tell you, for the amount of attention we've got, the biggest question is when can I get mine? And it's funny because we were walking around, we were talking to uh, other exhibitors this morning, you know, like everybody before the show kind of hobnobs. Yeah, you kind of gather, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and there were guys. Uh, drilling rich saying hey you know when am i going to get my 365 man when am i going to get my mpx <laughs> so anyways i mean you guys clearly have a winner on your hands yep. so congratulations to sig thanks thank again, you rich thank you very well, much i hope you guys enjoyed the video i've got to say thank you so much to the guys at TriggerCon, the guys at rainier arms thanks for having me out here as a guest of yours it was truly an honor and i hope to see you guys again next year anyways those are my top five i will see you guys next week